Hi everyone, this is Rainy with My Dream Boat Project and today I'm going to show you my rudder. It's actually a kickback rudder that I built for my 15 foot Eureka pontoon and sailing canoe. A lot of people have been asking about it so I'm going to show it to you and show you a little bit about how it works and went together. All right, here it is. You can see there's my Eureka canoe. It's still full because I just did my maiden voyage there a couple days ago. And I have it connected to the boat and you can see how I have it with the gungeons over there. Now I bought these gungeons from, uh, I believe from Duckworth. Uh, and the problem is I didn't get them exactly straight on the canoe. And the pins that came with this, they were little, uh, I guess you could say uh, pins or pintles, what do you want to call it, with cotta pins, and they didn't fit in right. So what I do did was I went to Martin's, and Martin's has some very inexpensive hardware, folks. This is a quarter-inch bolt, I guess you could say. It came in three-foot lengths. It cost me like 80 cents, and I ground it down so it would slide in here, put a bolt on this side so I could slide it in, and it would stop. And that's what I use, and it seems to work really well. Look at that free motion. Also, the pins that were there before each had rings, kind of like a key ring at the end. And when this thing would go like all the way over there, it would get stuck. So that was one of the problems I had. Now, this was designed to be able to use it with a stick, like I have right over here. I have like a little broomstick, and you can connect it over here. And as you pull the stick in the boat, it'll move the rudder with it okay it was designed to do that if I needed to but that's I don't really like that because it was too much play over here I think what I'm going to do if I want to use it that way again is connect that right to this one with a rope really tight there was so much play in this when I used it matter of fact once I was working with the sail and this undid somehow and my broomstick went in the water so I was up a creek kind of like without a paddle or without a rudder I guess you could say but the the actual way I want it to work is I want to connect a string from here and here going into the boat and then probably have an eyelid around here going to the floor with a pedal so I could work with on each side so I push on the if I push on the left pedal it'll go this way It'll go, so the boat will go to the left, push on the right pedal, it'll go that way. Because each string will be pulled individually. So that's how I'm going to make it eventually. But uh, I'm so busy, it's gonna, it might, might take me a few weeks before I get to that. Now, you might be wondering what these other things are. Okay, I have this string over here. And what that does is that holds the rudder up while I'm driving or when I back the canoe into the water. Now watch what happens when I undo this. Okay, I'm going to undo it, and whoops, it's hard to do this. I'm holding the phone with my hand, folks, so what happens when I undo it, it just comes down. Can you see that? So it's designed that when I'm going somewhere, I can actually pull it up. And see there's another string in the back, and that one pulls it back, okay? And that one comes up here. And I'm going to show you in a minute, I have another one that I put together before this, and I'm going to show you the mechanics of it in a minute. So it's a really great system. I'm going to be uncouth here and use my foot. So if I'm going in the canoe and I go over a stick and or a branch or something like that, rather than ripping the back of the canoe off over here, okay, it's just going to kick like that and let go and continue going. Isn't that a cool idea? So I love this idea. It works really well. So let me show you a little bit about how I put it together. So let's go over here to the other part of my garage where I have one that I made earlier. Now you might be wondering why do I have another one? <laughs> Good question, I'm glad you asked. Initially I made this one here. I made that with regular wood. One by ten, one by eight. So a uh, piece of wood like that lying against the wall, okay? But a little bit longer and wider. So I made that with regular wood and then this one here I had a lot of quarter inch plywood left over, so or six millimeter plywood, uh, and this is marine plywood. And I took three pieces of that and glued them together. And you can see the grain goes this way, the middle piece, the grain goes this way, and then the back piece, the grain goes the same way. Matter of fact, you can see where I started the sand did over here, and the grain's going the opposite way towards the middle. And the reason for that is it's a lot stronger. With this here, with wood, 
if I hit something with the grain, it'll snap. But if I have something against the grain, there's a lot less chance of it to snap, which is why I did that. So let me go ahead and set this up somehow so I can show you how this works. All right, first of all, here's the piece of wood, and you can see the basic shape of it. And it's rounded at the top, and it's rounded so it'll fit right into this piece of wood here, kind of like this. See how that fits right in there? By having it this way here, let me move this back. Okay, I put a pin in that hole in the middle, and oops, I have it upside down. I put a pin in the, <laughs> we go, in the hole in the middle, so when it this gets hit, it'll go up and it'll spin on that pin, and then it'll come right back down. Now, again, I had the string from here going up and tied on the top. Remember, I had a cross member on the, uh, the smaller one that was tied on top. So what I do to make it come back down, okay, is there's a hole right here, you can see at the bottom. So I get a string going through there. You can see there's a hole going down and coming out over here. So I can have a string going in here and coming out and I tie a knot right over here so it doesn't go back. And I'll show you the other one in a minute so you can see that. So when the string comes out of here, okay, remember it goes like this, the string actually goes in here. Oh, I see what I did? And if you look right through there, I'm going to try to hold this against the light. Uh, I guess you can't. Oh, there, we had, we had a little peek. <laughs> a little peak of light here. There we go. You can see right through there for a second. So that hole goes right through, right through all the way there and comes out at the top. And how I did that is it's three pieces of wood. I took the piece in the middle, put it on my table saw, and just cut, uh, you figure it's about an inch, so probably about a half inch all the way down. Okay, actually I think I did it about a quarter inch. Uh, because I wanted to be able to have a piece of shop cord, which is like a really tight bungee, go right through. So this comes out this end, goes in here, and comes right out here, and you tie a knot. So it'll snap back. And the top part, when you get over here, it goes through that piece of wood that goes this way. Remember we had a piece of wood going that way? And you put a hole that matches it right here. Of course, this piece of wood is for the steering, okay? And you actually put it right through, and you tie a knot over there. So you get nice, so it'll always snap back into place, and when it snaps down right over here, that hits against that. And the whole idea is, now I have a little angle over here because my canoe isn't completely straight, but I want the rudder to be straight up and down in the water, so I made it at an angle to compensate for it. Now if you look inside, this is three pieces of wood, I did this on the outer side and this on the same thing on that side, but if you look inside, it's rounded. So the inside piece is rounded, and then you glue them together. Be sure to uh, hit it with resin in between uh, before you put it together, okay, you have to resin inside here too because you don't want that to rot. And since it was almost the exact same size, this and this, I sanded it down a little bit so it would move a little bit better. And uh, before I put it together, I put a hole here and a hole here and put a basically a pencil through to make sure it would go together well. So now that you see how I did it, okay, and this is the basic shape. And, oh, I didn't tell you, the reason why I didn't use this one is I used three pieces of plywood and it was just too heavy, I felt, for the boat. So what I did was I made another one with two sheets of plywood and made it a little shorter, which is how I came out with this one. And just to show you again, here's that rope over there. This is the one that the kickback, where it comes back really tight. It goes through here and ties up here, see? And then over here, this is the one that I could hold it up, tie it up, and it just, when I get in the water, I just let it go. So it stays down. So there we go. If you have any other questions or don't understand something or if I was too confusing, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to see the crazy things I'm coming up with next and I'll see you out there. Bye bye.